I've been involved in two robberies in my life, both on the victim side. <laughs> they got handled in different ways. One when I was 23, one when I was 13. When I was 23, I was walking in a bad neighborhood in Chicago. A guy walked up behind me and says, give me all your money or I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. Yo, you wanna shoot shit out of me? <laughs> Blood isn't enough for you? You overachiever, but I just gave him my money because I only had three dollars. Yo, here's the three dollars. I don't know what you're saving up for, but it's gonna be slow motion for you. <laughs> he never even showed a gun, but I didn't think it was worth it to call his bluff. Looking back on the story, I don't think he had a gun. That'd have made things interesting if I asked. Hey, I'll give you my money. Can you show me the gun, please? You know what, man? That is a good question. I actually don't have a gun. I was just trying to get through this on tone of voice and intensity. Good question once again. Never mind on this robbery, you be safe out there, man. <laughs> but that's how I handled that 23, very passively. When I was 13, me and my friend Ken were walking to this building. Out of nowhere, this kid rides up on us on a bike and says, do I know y'all? But I didn't have my glasses, so I was squinting there like, nah. Nah, man, I don't think we've ever met before. But it seems like an aggressive way to go about meeting <laughs> new friends. Do I know y'all? What is your favorite video game? I love Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> but he sold a gun and says, give me your money. And my friend Ken, he just kept walking into his building like a robbery wasn't happening. <laughs> like, hey, Ken, this dude is robbing us. I guess just me now. <laughs> Even then, Ken knew the secret. If you put out into the universe that a robbery isn't happening, then a robbery isn't happening. <laughs> so as me and this kid, he says, give me your money. I said, I don't have any money. He says, give me your watch. And at the time, I had this Arizona brand watch that my sister had bought me for my birthday. Estimated value, $20. But well, it's not about that. I like that watch. And he never pulled his gun out. So I had my watch. I was fiddling with my watch. I was looking at him, fiddling with the watch. Looking at him, fiddling with the watch. Looking at him. Bah! Punched him in the face and I ran off. It was a good punch, too. I knocked his ass clean out. His bike tire was spinning and everything. That's how good of a punch it was. So it got around the neighborhood that I did that, and people were saying, Hannah, you shouldn't have done that. You should have just gave the kids a watch. And no, he should be better at robbing people. <laughs> because he let one person walk away slowly, <laughs> the other one punched him in the face while he had a gun. He's a fucking loser. <laughs> hey, good night, y'all. Thanks a lot.